we've got some opportunities before us. I think about meeting Brother Deal while I was away and having the opportunity and what privilege it was to preach for him and the printing ministry that they've got going on and, and the fact that he said we could write our own tracks and he'd print all that we wanted and, and um, I realize that there's some great opportunities that, that, that's in store for us if we if we want to take them and try to bring glory to God. Mitzi's playing softly tonight. Do you remember when?
comes my heart tonight. And I hear preachers a lot talking about so getting a little bit forward to the day of retirement. I don't I don't ever want to retire from the ministry. Amen. I want my retirement program to be when God calls me home. And I've always told God that. I never understood it. these guys that want to retire and get them a little lake house or a beach house and feel like that they put their time in. To me, that makes me feel like that their motive has been wrong all those years. Yeah. I was laughing as I was reading the Baptist bulletin last night and Mama was asking me and, and I, I told her, I said, I said, Dr. Ruckman is 90 years old and he's still sharp as a tank. Physically yep. he may be faltering, but his mind is and I told her, I said, man, if I live to be 90 years old, I would love to have a mind that, that man's got. Amen. 90 years old. But you know, as I was reading that last night about the joys of the ministry, it, it finally really dawned on me, Dr. Upton's 90 years old. And one of these days, God's going to take him home. And he's been the one voice for generations across this country. And he's been the one thorn in the flesh of the scholars for, for, for decades in this country. And I know some of y'all didn't know anything about Dr. Ruckman until just a few years ago. I've known about Dr. Ruckman for a lot of years. And there is not another Dr. Ruckman in this country or any other country around the world. Amen. And there's nobody else that has ever brought the grief to the scholars that Dr. Ruckman has. But I got to thinking, Brother Mike, last night, when he's gone, who's going to be the voice then? Yeah. Is there anybody that God can raise up to take his place? Brother Donovan will be the next pastor, but Brother Donovan's not Dr. Ruckman. Yeah. And he made a statement. He said, he said, with all the books, and he's talking about Brother Roloff and some of those that he still hears preach on the radio, and how their ministry still going on years after they've been dead. He said, with the books that I've written and the pamphlets and the tracts that I've written, he said, at least for at least for 25 years after I'm gone, I'll still be able to be a thorn in the scholars. Amen. What a blessing. What a blessing. Not just thinking about right now, but thinking about when he's gone. How he wants that ministry to, to go on. Asheville needs a voice. Yeah. Place where you work needs a voice. The neighborhood that you live in church that needs a voice tonight. Amen. And your family needs a voice. You need to get concerned. You need to get concerned. We need to start praying, God, what do you want us to do? But before we do that, we need to, as individuals get in the prayer closet and say, God, what do you want me to do to bring glory and honor to you in these last days? What do you want me to do to be involved in ministry? One of the first things in that is you should pray and you should seek God's face and you should ask God, God, what missionaries do you want me to be a part of their life and their ministry? Yeah. 
What missionaries do you want me to help support to make sure that they're on the field of service where they need to be? One of the reasons why some of you haven't done that in the past is because you'd rather go to Outback on Friday night than to be a part of God's ministry. Amen. Amen. You'd rather be able to buy fancy presents so you feel like you're somebody at Christmas time than to get involved in God's work. Yeah. Amen. It's time, church, that we get serious. And it's time we get serious in here as well. Before we dismiss tonight, a word of prayer. <clears throat>